Hey YouTube, this is TechVids Tutorials and what we will be doing today is we will be downloading VLC Media Player to replace our current um, video player such as QuickTime or even Windows Media Player. Now to begin we need to head over to videolan.org and download VLC Media Player or you can go ahead and search in VLC Media Player in the Google search box. Once you do that go ahead and click on the first link and then it should give you options to go ahead and download it for different platforms. Now of course if you're using Windows you're going to go ahead and select that but they also have it available for Mac OS X and Linux. Now once you do that you will be taken to a page where you can choose your download location and it'll also tell you how far the location is and you can also click on show full mirror list to see the different options you have now even though if you choose the closest location to you that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to download faster but if it's downloading at an extremely slow speed you can go ahead and choose a different mirror so go ahead and try different download pages and click on any one of these and it should automatically start downloading in this case I don't want to download it because I already have it but from here all you do is save the file and you double click on the .exe and it should install. Once you have downloaded and installed the program you should go ahead and get a VLC media player icon that looks like an orange cone. Go ahead and double click on it to open it up. Now looking at this program it's very easy to use because it is very simple and there's not a lot of options you can go ahead and mess around with unless you want to and I'll show you some of those options and you can go ahead and go to tools preferences and then you have all your options on the left side so for interface we can go ahead and download skins and make it look like Windows Media Player for example or you can make it look like QuickTimes if you don't like this interface you can go ahead and choose options for your audio and video for subtitles you could choose the font size the font color or if there's any specific effect that you want for input and codecs I wouldn't uh, mess around with anything here but as you could see you could do a lot with this program and even if you don't want to go ahead and go through all those settings all you do is just download this and go to the specific file that's not being played by either Windows Media Player or QuickTime or whatever you have and just right click it and open with VLC Media Player and you can also go to media on the top left corner you can either open file or open folder or even open disk and go ahead and browse to that and it should automatically play with this. Now I would go ahead and definitely download this. Um, it's a great piece of freeware. If you have any questions, please send me a message. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.